Saturday afternoon, um, and I think that just reflects the level of interest that there is in this subject and the many issues around it. Um, I'm not going to keep you uh, as long as the previous speaker. I'm going to talk for about 15 to 20 minutes and hopefully um, up the pace a bit. Um, I'd like to start by, by correcting something that Neil said earlier. I'm not a member of Frackhoff. Uh, and the reason I want to stress that is that, that Frackhoff is a, a, an organisation that, that opposes unconventional gas development and just that. Safe Energy, the organisation that I represent, we also have a positive side to what we do and you'll see some of that later in the presentation. Um, it's a real shame that Mr. Clough couldn't be with us this afternoon because I was really looking forward to meeting him, as I'm sure many of you were. Um, but I suppose we'll have to live with our disappointment. Now I should start by saying that, contrary to the pre previous speaker, I'm not an expert on underground coal gasification. In fact, I'm not really an expert on anything. Um, I'm not a geologist, uh, I'm not a, um, an engineer, or any kind of scientist. Uh, I don't have any experience whatsoever in the oil and gas industry. Um, so I'm not in a position to challenge anything that you've just been told from a technical or scientific point of view. Um, and so I don't intend to run through a litany of the concerns that people have about underground coal gasification. Uh, I know that many of you will have seen these already from our leaflets and from the public meetings that took place last year. Uh, or from your own research, and uh, both of the previous speakers um, went through some of them in some detail. So I'm not going to subject you to that again. Um, and uh, I'd like instead to take a look at some of the things that Mr. Clough himself has said about underground coal gasification. But before I do this, I just want to remind people that this meeting is not about fracking, it's about underground coal gasification. Um, Although some of my remarks will touch upon fracking where it's appropriate, but I want to look at some of the more strategic issues. Now, we first heard